So I'm going to do this both ways, all right? I'm going to use the change of base stuff on this. And then I will also, which is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to, I'm going to show you guys how this works just regularly. So for example, we would change this into exponential form. That's 3 to the power of x equals 1 over 81, right? Now we want to compare this with exponents because we have 3 to some power. So really I'm going to make this 81 to the power of negative 1 equals 3 to the power of x. Now if I can get these to have the same bases, then I can just get rid of the bases and solve for x. 81, as it turns out, is 3 to the power of 4. Now this is to the power of negative 1, which equals 3 to the power of x, right? And if I use my exponent rules, I'd get 3 to the power of negative 4 equals 3 to the power of x. So what is the value of x on this one? We should get x equals negative 4 because the bases just cancel out. Which would leave us with negative 4 equals x, right? Nothing really to solve there. We can test this with the calculators by using the change of base stuff. So that would be taking... The, so this change of base stuff, we'd have the log of 1 over 81, which for your calculators, you probably have to use uh, parentheses for that fraction. And would divide it by the log of the base, which was 3. And if you do that, you should get negative 4, right? Again, if it's easier for you guys to find the natural log, then you can find the natural log of 1 over 81. Ooh, that's 18. Let's make that 81. Over the natural log of 3. And that also would give you negative 4.